Tonight, this is a live look at the Nationwide Building downtown. It's lit up with a simple message in honor of Johnny Gaudreau, CBJ number 13. It's been six days since Johnny Gaudreau and his brother Matthew lost their lives after being hit by a suspected drunk driver while riding their bikes. Thanks for joining us for 10 TV News at 11. Tonight, the Blue Jackets held a vigil and hundreds of people showed up to show their support. We have team coverage tonight with Nicole Sheeran focusing on the news conference held earlier today by the team. But first, we go live to 10 TV's Carly Dion outside Nationwide Arena tonight with more on the vigil. Carly? Yolanda, it's been an extremely emotional time for Blue Jackets fans as they mourn the loss of the Gaudreau brothers, who continue to be described as true family men and great people. Tonight, Johnny's teammates' love for him was on full display as so many of them came with their own families to mourn with the Jackets community. Our hearts are shattered in a million pieces. There's no doubt about that. The love and camaraderie within the hockey community is like no other. As the Jackets community mourns the loss of the Gaudreau brothers, some of Johnny's teammates shared what set him apart. He always reminded me to never sweat the small stuff without actually telling me that, you know? A sentiment many of his teammates caught on to. We had to be in, a, in our shorts and ready for a coach's meeting at 5 o'clock. He'd walk in at 4.59 and a half. Guys would be sweating for him and he'd walk in dragging his heels. Just perfectly on time, not sweating it at all. But after the games, he'd be the first one out. I'd have my left skate still on and he'd be walking out in his suit. It's a lesson that only really started to sink in in Johnny's absence. It's made me wonder since Maddie and Johnny have passed that whether he had it right. That entire time that he was away from the rink, he was sitting on the couch with Meredith and his children, being the best possible father he could be. Jackets fans hanging on to every word as each player spoke, supporting each other through this immense loss and joining together to light candles in their honor. Then, 13 minutes and 21 seconds of silence, representing Johnny's number 13 and Matthew's Boston College number 21. It was, it was beautiful to see and, and, and heartbreaking at the same time. Blue Jackets in arena host for the past 21 years, Mike Todd, says coming to this vigil is a start to the healing process. During the minutes of silence, only one thing was on his mind, the Gaudreau family, who are as tight-knit as they come. It seemed like the entire family was there to see him play every single game. As Jackets fans continue to process what happened, it can be difficult to think about what comes next. Todd says leaning on each other is the only way to make it through. And as cliche as it sounds, you do it one day at a time. The organization also hoping their loss sends a lasting message. I urge you, please, 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 and I beg you, having fun is one thing, but please find a ride home. And this memorial here behind me only continues to grow tonight. A true testament of this community's love for a pair of brothers who will be honored and remembered for years to come. Yolanda.